shout out to Tracy, our waitress. She got us into the ding dongs. I wasn't gonna do this at all, but I gotta try one, right? Yeah. These are the ding dongs. Oh my god. You guys gotta get the ding dongs. I got stuff on my shirt. We're rolling. <laughs> Good morning. And welcome back to sunny San Diego, California. Today, I'm gonna take you out and show you five hidden food gems here in the city. Truth be told, these are just places that I wanted to hit myself, so I figured why not grab Brandon, grab a camera, and bring you guys along with us. And starting things off, we're in Sunset Cliffs, in between Ocean Beach and Point Loma, at a tiny little spot called The Little Lion. Let's go check it out. All right, we're here with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, tell me, where are we? Uh, we're at Little Lion Cafe in Ocean Beach, San Diego, California. Our family is from Belgium, and my grandfather moved here and opened a restaurant called the Belgian Lion. We grew up there as little kids. That's why we're the Little Lion. I'm half of the partnership. My sister, Anne-Marie, is our chef. Well, I was making a list of hidden gems, and so many people said, this is the place that oh, you have that, to come check out. That makes me really happy. Yeah, it's uh, genuinely little and genuinely hidden. <laughs> uh, labor of love, for sure, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. you we it. did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have the most ridiculous spread to start the day. We're at a Belgium inspired location, so obviously we had to get the Belgium waffles here. We got ricotta toast with different fruits on there and some arugula. We have their take on eggs benedict with a little prosciutto, poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, and one of their most popular dishes. It is kale and duck sausage with chimichurri and breakfast gravy. Eggs benedict is one of my favorite breakfast dishes of all time. That salty prosciutto that's in there Perfectly poached egg, hollandaise sauce, not too overpowering. Sometimes hollandaise sauce, they put a ton on and it gets really heavy. This is very light. This is the duck sausage. Whoa. Whoa, so earthy, such a rich flavor to that sausage. Nice and caught with the chimichurri and the breakfast gravy adds this sweetness to it. I love that sausage and it's got a kick to it as well. That is delicious. Mmm. Yeah. Tried the savory. Let's get into the sweet. First up from the sweets, ricotta toast. We got ricotta, nectarine, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, honey, and salt. But again, a little bit of those greens. How beautiful does that look? Mm, mm, mm. You gotta come here and get one savory dish, the duck and kale, 100%. And then one sweet dish, ricotta, toast. Such a contrast, man, it's delicious. And last, but certainly not least, the staple, the pride and joy of this beautiful place. Maple syrup, powdered sugar, whipped cream, adds a sweetness, great crunch, and so flavorful. Guys, little lime. Highly recommended. You watch the sunrise and then you come over here for breakfast, you will not be disappointed. All right, here we go. Stop number two on our hit list of five hidden food gems here in San Diego. Hidden behind a Denny's and a Marie Calendar's off the eight in La Mesa is DZ Aikens. Now, this place is on the list because it hits close to home. This is a New York style delicatessen. And those who saw the Palm Springs video, you know I'm a sucker for giant sandwiches and lots of baked goods. Let's go inside this little sweet spot in the middle of nowhere. Not in the middle of nowhere, it's in La Mesa, but just a far drive from everything downtown and by the beach, so let's go inside. Alright, in 
inside DZ Aikens now. We've got a little gift shop as soon as you walk in. Come on in here. We have ourselves a number. We got sweets to the right hand side. We have everything. Hollow bread, bagels, little Halloween cookies, bear claws, danishes, moon cookies, eclairs, giant cream puffs. Come through this way. We've got matzo ball soup, giant roasted chickens. Over here you got pickles and lox. You got coleslaw, mac salad, corned beef that you can buy. They got everything. Let's go into the dining room now and get some food. Come on. Hey. Elon, what's going on? Pleasure. Thank you so Thank much you. for having Thanks us. Thanks for being here. This is Elon, the owner of this Hello. joint. Elon. Tell me a little story about DZ. Ooh, DZ, well D is for Debbie and Z is for Svika. Those are my parents. Okay. Um, they started in 1980. Um, dad was the cook, mom was the waitress. Okay. And dad was actually born in Tel Aviv, Israel. Really? Yeah. He came here when he was 15, uh, worked at a kosher butcher shop in LA uh -huh. and met my mother accidentally at the butcher shop and they fell in love. This is the New York style deli. And, and it reminds me of home because yeah, you're upstate I'm from, New York? Yeah, upstate New York. Nice. And so the diner experience, the uh -huh. big sandwiches that I'm seeing already as it yeah. passed nice. by is already... Are we ready for some of this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Oh, we're it diving like right Tracy into it. Tracy brought us some goodies. <laughs> All right. That's the Reuben. Oh, my God. And the corned beef hash. Look at this. All right, so we got the mishmash matzo ball soup. That's a giant matzo ball. Got the noodles, and what's this here? That's a crepe lach. It's pretty much the Jewish wonton, the Jewish dumpling. Jewish wonton, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the Reuben. The Reuben, the classic Reuben. And this is the corned That's beef. homemade corned beef hash. You know, most places do it out of a can. We we don't like that oh version, God, so we, we just grind up the real corned beef. It's killer. <laughs> and I'm gonna start with the matzo ball. Start with a little bit of the soup. But, um, you know, we switch it up a little bit as well. Good. That's what I'm talking so about. We, Jokingly Light. call this Jewish penicillin. This is, I was just gonna say, this is the cure all, it seems yeah, like. It really is. All right, I mean, we're just procrastinating, is all we're really yeah, doing. I mean, that's nice. Really Matzo ball right. soup, great. But come on. I mean, when you have this standing right in front of you, it's like you can't mess around with anything else. Homemade rye bread, we got sauerkraut on there. Oh, first thing, that crunch from the bread. Buttery, incredible flavorful bread. And then the meat is just so juicy. A little bit of fat, but not overwhelming, you know? Yeah. Just enough like marbling. Yeah. Oh and you my. get a little sweetness from this Russian dressing. You get that savory, that sweet, that crunchy. And I'm a huge sauerkraut fan, so I love that. That bitterness that the sauerkraut brings, the yeah. acidity from the sauerkraut. Asba is a perfect uh, Reuben you can have anywhere, not just on the West Coast, but anywhere. Man, that's delicious. I, my favorite is these little crackling bits on the outside here. All right, one more bite for good luck. All right, now we're gonna have one taste, the breakfast staple. This is actually one of my favorites, so you're already winning in my book. This is the corned beef hash and eggs with the homemade home fries here. This is happiness. Ooh, and as you know, with the canned corned beef, immediately you know because it's so salty. So, so overpowering salty. And this is so delicate. And what people have to learn all over the globe is the crunch. You gotta get your money from carnitas, any great sure, yeah, meat in this world, you have a crunch to it. And this is a perfect crunch on the top. You can tell it was done right on the stove top. Man, Elon. This is incredible. This is truly a hidden gem here in San Diego. Thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. And now I take home a bucket of pickles. Yeah, take it. <gasps> Not only did we have delicious sandwiches, we just scored some sweets from over here. First things first, we raided the bakery. And Tracy, shout out to Tracy, our waitress. She got us into the ding dongs. I wasn't gonna do this at all, but I gotta try one, right? These are the ding-dongs. Oh my god. You guys gotta get the ding-dongs. This is a taste of childhood right here. Like a ho-ho, like a little Debbie's cake. Oh my god. Nancy Pelosi, that is delicious. Just a little 
Just a little going away present. <laughs> Jackpot. Come to DZ's. Get a Reuben sandwich, matzo ball soup for all the ailments, then get a ding dong and one of these. Just take a screenshot of this video and show them. I want one of these because I never remember the name. Oh, yeah. All right, let's keep going. All right, we've hit our stride now. The sun has come out and we're over in North Park for our third location. This is the San Diego Chicken Pie Shop, a San Diego institution for some home style, some heartwarming food. Let's go inside and try their pies. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, we got Bob here. Bob's here. Lisa, the Hi. owners of the chicken pie shop. Tell me, you, you guys have been here since 1938, correct? Yeah, we're, we're, we're 83. 83 years old. 83. I mean, you guys haven't been here. Pretty good no. You guys are great. <laughs> yeah. Chicken pot pies, that's the secret, right? So, a guy named George Whitehead started the whole thing. Okay. He was a dishwasher at a restaurant that closed down. He basically took it over and he created the chicken pies. He ended up selling the business to my parents years ago. No Both way. My parents got retired We passed away. And yeah. We took it over as a family. Incredible. <laughs> Interesting. Such an iconic location. You got all these old photos that I love so much. I am very excited about this spot. All right. And so this is our famous no. giant cinnamon roll. No. What are we doing, plate. you guys? Yeah. What are we doing, Pop? Some utensils. Are you guys nuts? Enjoy. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> guys, I thought, we're, I thought we're doing chicken pot pies here, Bob. Do people come in and order anything else? They, they can't. It's a fa oh. family style. Oh, they take it home. Oh, you got to. And then some people just eat all of it. Get a little, what is that, whipped cream? Butter. Oh, right. butter. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's it's so, so good, damn good, it? yeah. They make everything from scratch. This is their most popular breakfast item. We have... It's called the neighborhood grind. Neighborhood grind. You have a chicken pot pie with right. two over easy eggs and then is that breakfast gravy on top? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I know. Come on. It tastes like a day after you go out sledding. You know, like when oh, you guys don't know much about sledding. No. But back east, let me tell you a story here, Bob. Back east, you go outside, it's snowing out. Grandma calls you in. She's got a pot pie ready for you. And then you guys go out of bounds and you put the gravy and the eggs on top. So the difference between us that. and anybody else who makes pies is we don't put vegetables in them. We just go all meat and then we throw the veggies on the side. I love We've that. We've been making it the same way since 38. This is the original pot pie that we saw in there with just some delicious gravy on top. Let's give this a cross section that it deserves. Oh, flaky crust. Just made by Mario's hands himself. Yeah. Look at that cross section. It's good, huh? I just want to watch Christmas movies. It's coming up. <laughs> so every day, our bakers come in at 6 a.m. and they make all of our dessert pies from scratch, along with our chicken pies. And okay. This is the cherry. Okay. And then our cream pie today is coconut cream pie on a graham cracker crust. That's made fresh. And then we do have quite a few followers of our traditional pumpkin pie That's that we fair. serve all year round. We don't just wait for Thanksgiving. I respect the pumpkin, but my heart <laughs> is with one pie, one pie only. Good, a good pumpkin pie. Very good. See what I'm doing here? He's hurrying. Let's go to the cherry. <laughs> Excellent. Tuesdays and Saturdays. 
Don't, don't, Saturday. Don't tell me when you have it. Those are the only don't. two days you can get it, though. I don't want to hear that. Guys, well done. Very nicely done. Thank that you. That is incredible. <laughs> Things are just getting out of control now. All right, continuing on. Now we are over in the corner of Hillcrest and Mission Hills. This is a tiny little Japanese restaurant tucked away into this plaza. This is number four on our hidden gems list, and this is literally a hidden gem. If you come over into this unsuspecting little spot, you got some delicious Japanese food. Let's go. We just went crazy. We go a little too far, even though we've been eating all day, but you gotta have the staples when you get here. So this place is known for their ramen, sushi, and some Japanese staples as well. Some Korean kimchi, just to get that stomach going, <laughs> and a little seaweed salad for health. First, let's start out with the takoyaki. If you haven't seen my uh, Osaka street food video, make sure you check that out. But this is a octopus ball that's deep fried. You got a little bit of octopus chunks in there and almost like a mashed potato consistency on the inside and a nice crunch on the outside. This is very nostalgic of my trip to Japan. This brings me right back to the streets. Oh man, good flavor. The traditional Japanese, I like to call it barbecue sauce, is over the top of that with some cream. That is very, very well done. Tuna carpaccio. How beautiful and thinly sliced that is. This beet red color. We have fried garlic on top with some chives and it's drenched in olive oil. All right, one special that they have is kama or yellow tail cheek. This is a special item. It comes with some daikon here. Put a little daikon on there. A little bit of salt and a little bit of soy. Just put some lemon on that. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, it just disintegrated in my mouth. So tender, so delicious, so light. All right, well, this is their signature dish. This is the ramen, donkotsu ramen. Oh, we have cheshu pork, we have seaweed, we have big fried garlic chunks, and this deep, rich, oily, milky broth from a pork bone broth. Wow. That's actually very light. Sometimes you, with the donkotsu, it gets very, very heavy, very greasy, very fatty, and this is very light, even though the fact that you still see those fat bubbles on top. Let's give it a little try, shall we? Noodles cook perfectly. That fried garlic, you can taste it right in there. I'm splattering all over the place. Just a sign of happiness. Oh, this takes me back. Mm. I just want to have a couple of highballs with this and just get loose. Dance, go do some karaoke. But in the meantime, this will do. Jackpot. Our fifth and final stop of the day for hidden food gems here in San Diego. I have just a little bit of room left, and for that, we're back over in North Park, right on Adams Avenue, for a small batch, unique ice cream spot. And this is Ans Dry Cleaning, which is very interesting because if you actually look at it, it looks like a dry cleaning spot. So let's go inside and see what this little spot has to offer. Let's go. As Brandon runs into the tables here, let's go inside. Well, well, well. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys. And I've been told that this is one of the ultimate hidden gems here in oh, San yeah. Diego. And understandably so, it looks like a dry cleaning place. Yes. Do people come in and just for absolutely freak out? Oh, 1000%. I've had people <laughs> bring in their like dry cleaning to me and think that I'm like Seriously? joking around. Yeah, I had one guy that actually was confusing our merchandise for what? actual laundry. This is why. So, yeah. 
Whose idea was it to, to um, name it this? You know, Anz was really just known for dry cleaning. Yeah. They kind of decided to keep the theme and run with it. So about every two weeks, we rotate our menus. We okay. have a flavor tour, which is what we're known for. Oh, really? Just because since they're so unique, we yeah, don't yeah. want to ever have it that's like, no, you got to choose one and then you're kind of Yeah, because that would stink if you yeah. all of a sudden you choose lace and yeah. it turns out you don't like yeah, lace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Let's do it. We're going to start off with our palate cleanser. This, this is perfect. Lunch. We've been eating a lot today. All right, stuff. step one, ginger and lime, and lime sorbet. sorbet. And what's the name of this one? This one is just palate Oh, just palate so cleanser. It's off menu item. Is that real ginger in there? Yes. Wow, my palate is cleansed. That's one thing that, you know, we really take pride in is having as fresh ingredients as possible. You can't, there's a big difference between, you know, having fresh pear versus yeah. pear juice. So We're one, moving right along. This one is an almond milk and hazelnut paste with a little dark chocolate in it. This one for sure is one of our more popular vegan. Vegan. Oh my gosh. That's very nutty. Yes. You know what that tastes like? The Ferrero Rocher. Yes. Now this one is apron, which is based off of a pecan pie. Brown butter pecan molasses pie crust. And those big chunks are pie crust? Yes. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Big chunks of pie crust. Yes. Whoa. My grandfather would love this. Yeah. Big cotton pie fan. Yeah. So yeah. This one is Casio, which is a ginger chai gelato. This one, we get the tea from Paro Tea. Let's keep moving. This <laughs> one isn't my favorite, but that's just because I don't like chai. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta be honest with the people. If I would've just said, I love all of them. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's pashmina. We Goat cheese base mm -hmm. with fig and balsamic. Yes. And this is a new arrival. I, yes. I get in on the hype. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's one of our more controversial flavors. Any of one of them with goat cheese, you either love it or you hate it. Love and it. it's amazing. It's love amazing. it. Advanced levels of ice cream. I, I like that you guys make bold choices in here. That's one of my favorite things about this place so far is you guys aren't scared. So this one's this edible? One, it, yes, it's a black cocoa that we get in. Midnight chocolate black cocoa. I give a yeah. great description on this one. Give it to me. So we use the same cocoa powder that Oreo uses. So it has that really rich fudgy chocolate without being acidic at all. And so it's a really palatable chocolate. It almost to me tastes like a snack pack, even though it looks so intimidating. Snack pack. This is. <laughs> this is pudding. Right? It's great. Girls, thank you so much for your yeah, help. Yeah. I appreciate it. Am I allowed to do this? Yeah. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Look at that. And that, my friends, is a full-on day of five hidden food gems here in San Diego. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what place you want to try the most. Give it a thumbs up. It means a lot. It helps distribute this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Just like that, I'm going to enjoy my ice cream and call it a night. I'll see you on the next one. Travel deeper. I'm a golf professional. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, hey, really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, my son just started playing uh, his oh, freshman really? year. Oh, San Diego great. Do you have any advice for my kid? Yeah. Never give up. Thanks, Thanks Lee. Lee. You Thank take you care. Thank you so much. <laughs> this one is midnight. Midnight chocolate, and that one's pumpkin spice. It's ridiculous. Tell him I sent you. <laughs> Wanna do that again? Yeah. How do you spell palate? P A L T. P A L T. How do you spell cleanser? I never know how to say that. What is it called? For I, I honestly. Ferrero. Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher? Something like that. <laughs> is it Ferrero Rocher? What's uh, the name I'm, not, of that? I'm not sure, dude. Fancy chocolates? It's, it's a candy, candy right? Yeah. The fancy, chocolate. It's like the chocolate balls, balls right? Yeah. And the yeah. plastic. <laughs> I, you can tell that we didn't grow up rich because we don't know how to pronounce it. I respect yeah. us for that. I like the takeout idea for something like this because you can go in the peace and quiet of your own home and you won't be judged, you know? You can sit there with a pot pie yeah. and you can just be yourself. Undo your belt a little Take bit. your shirt off, yeah, have a pot pie and relax a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is incredible. Pro tip about the palate cleanser, when you're hungover, that kicks it right out. Cause really? the, the ginger, nausea away. The lime, you're awake. I love it. Insider scoop. I like it. I don't hate it. I like it. It's more pumpkin pie than pumpkin than spice, spice yeah. coffee. So um, I'm gonna put that in the I don't hate it category. It's <laughs> <a> slice of <laughs> pumpkin 